Are you new to the concept of exponents? Well, in this video, let's talk about introduction to exponents, what does it mean, and basics of exponents. Stick around and watch till the end. Hi, I'm Nack. Hi, I'm Tack. Welcome to Nack Tack 910. Exponents? What are exponents? We'll talk about that in a minute, but tell me how you read this number. 93 million. Correct. That's approximately the distance between the Earth and the Sun. 93 million miles. How about this number? 300 million? Right. That's the speed of the light in a vacuum, about 300 million meters per second. It's often hard for us to read them because they're very large. Well, to represent such numbers in an easier way, we use exponents. In simple terms, exponents tell us the number is multiplied by itself a certain number of times. That means we can say exponents as repeated multiplication. For example, 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4 means 2 is multiplied 4 times. So 2 to the power of 4 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This is repeated multiplication, right? So 2 to the power of 4. 2 is a base and 4 is an exponent. The number which gets multiplied repeatedly a certain number of times is called the base. Number of times the base should be multiplied is called the exponent or index or power. And 2 to the power of 4 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 because 2 is multiplied repeatedly. It is called the base and how many times is 2 repeated? 4 times. That's the exponent. How do we read these numbers? 2 to the power of 4 is read as 2 raised to the power of 4 or it can also be read as 2 to the power of 4. Now help me read these. 10 to the power of 5 is read as 10 raised to the power of 5 or 10 to the power of 5. 3 to the power of 7 is read as 3 raised to the power of 7 or 3 to the power of 7. Thanks, Tech. So there are a few things we need to remember here. 2 to the power of 3 is not the same thing as 3 to the power of 2. Let's see if that works. 2 to the power of 3 equals 2 times 2 times 2, which gives us 8. Whereas 3 to the power of 2, 3 times 3 equals 9. So 2 to the power of 3 does not equal 3 to the power of 2. Multiplying 2 3 times and multiplying 3 2 times is not same. In the examples we have seen so far, we have only one digit exponents. Can exponents be more than one digit? Exponents can be any number, like we can have 12 raised to the power of 345, 3 raised to the power of 54. So when you say any number, can I say negative number? Of course, we can have negative exponents. 4 to the power of negative 3, 7 to the power of negative 2. That means 4 to the power of negative 3 means 1 by 4 cube. 7 to the power of negative 2 means 1 by 7 square. Well, we'll get to into details later. How about decimal points? Oh yeah, we do that too. Decimal exponents. 3 to the power of 2.5 or 4 to the power of 1.1. Okay, now try to write these in exponential form and identify base and exponent for me, please. Three times three times three times three times three. Because three is multiplied five times. Three is the base and five is the exponent. Three to the power of five. Since eight is multiplied three times, eight is the base and three is the exponent. Eight to the power of three. Perfect. Math is easy and fun when you understand your concepts with a little bit of practice and loads of fun! Music